Well, good morning, beloved. This is your girl, Sharon, once again from my front seat. And here I am in my front seat, giving God all the praise, honor and the glory for another day. Yesterday was, I'll use the word phenomenal. So I worked, I was scheduled to work half a day. I, you know, put in, take some time off. And um, my plan was to just go and do everything that Brother John and I did last year on our 12th year anniversary. We went for couples massages. We went to eat ice cream in the park. We then went uh, to the mall for seized candy. We then went out for a lobster dinner. So that was my plan on yesterday. I came to work and I was ready to leave and go to the nail shop, salon, I, I mean, massage parlor, all of those things. So yesterday morning after being at work a couple of hours, beloved, I truly heard a still small voice. And what I believe that voice said, well, I know what that voice said to me was, you cannot relive what you've already done. Don't do it. And I had shared that with a friend like a day before what I was going to do. And she's like, are you going to be able to do that? I'm like, yeah, you know, I just want to walk where we walked. But on yesterday, that still small voice spoke and said, don't do it. You cannot relive what you what you and Brother John did. So immediately it turned into a, OK, I'm going to pamper Sharon Day. I'm going to get the pedicure. I'm going to get the massage. So I got the pedicure. I then went to the massage parlor. I had the massage. I then went to uh, the mall and I did buy a pound of seized candy. And beloved, you know, you don't have to get the prepackaged pound. You can have them make your pound right from behind the counter. That's what I did. And then I people watched. I people watched. And I thank God for very good friends. I, I thank God I was able to call a friend to say, hey, do you want to go out dinner and a movie? And guess what the friend said? Of course, I will not have you alone on today. So I thank God for that. I'm grateful to the Lord God that I was able to commemorate what would have been my 13. You know, it's so funny because when I was a child, more than anything, I wanted to be a wife. And I said, I'm going to have a 50th wedding anniversary. One day I'm going to be married for 50 years. And it's really a running joke in my family because it's like, mm, I guess if I add them all up, when all is said and done, I'll meet 50 years. I ain't got to 50 years yet, y'all. But I had a great time yesterday and I give God the glory for it. And sister getting old. So I was glad to be home by 10. And I just give God the glory. So that voice yesterday, truly I heard that still small voice. So beloved, and not because I just know where it is, but 1 Kings 19 and 12. And again, I know that because I looked it up before coming on, right? And it says that um, there was the earthquake. And then there was the earthquake but God was not in the earthquake. Yeah. And then there was a whisper or then there was a still small voice. Beloved, oftentimes we look for God to be in the earthquakes. Often, you know, I think I may preach from that. You know, storms can rise and we look for God in the storm. Earthquake, look for God in the earthquake, fire, look for God in the fire. But God isn't always in those things. He's not always speaking through those things. We're looking at the earthquake. Oh, I know God is speaking and we're always looking for God in these huge, big, you know, mountainous ways. But there are times that God will come to us and he will speak to us with a still small voice. So beloved, it behooves us. It is up to us to be ready. It is up to us to recognize that still small voice. And just like that still small voice spoke to me on yesterday, and I'm so grateful for it. I'm so grateful for it. And then um, he spoke and I'm glad that he did. And I give God the glory for it. And I tell you last night, I laid down after saying my prayers and I went to sleep. I went to sleep and I thank God because um, 
oftentimes this last year, you know, I go to sleep, I wake up or or I'm sleep sitting up or something. And there have been nights I've had really good sleep. But I can honestly say that on last night, God blessed me with the best night's sleep that I've had since my husband passed away. And I give God the glory for that. Some mornings I awaken and I can tell I've been like all over the bed. But last night it was just peaceful. And I give God the glory for that. Um, I actually walked through the house, didn't turn on lights this morning, you know, as I was leaving, because y'all know I'm afraid of the dark and the boogeyman, right? But God gave me a real peace on last night. And for that, I am grateful. So, beloved, you know what I'm about to say. This is your girl, Sharon, once again, from my front seat. I'm going to get out of this car. I'm going to go inside and I'm going to render unto Caesar those things which do belong to Caesar. And so, beloved, on today, look for God in the still, small voice. Listen for God in the still, small voice. Will God speak and you hear him in that still, small voice of a way? And, you know, there are a lot of things going on around you. Yes, he will. He speaks, but our spirits have got to be receptive. So tell your spirit, spirit man, be receptive right now today so that we can hear the still small voice of the Lord. That's what you do. And he will speak to you. So look for God today in that still small voice. Now, if there's a fire or an earthquake, you can look for him there too. He may be speaking to you. I'm just saying, oftentimes he speaks to us in that still small voice. So beloved, I love you. God bless you. I'm going to get in, render unto Caesar those things which belong to Caesar. And if it be the Lord's will, this on tomorrow, same time, same place from my front seat. This is your girl, Sharon. I love you and I'm out. Deuces.